Hi guys, Sammy Monster here with a brand new time lapse video, and this video would have been up sooner, uh, a week ago, um, except uh, the voiceover that I recorded didn't work. So here I am re recording the voiceover. I just didn't have time to do it before the video was ready to upload. So, um, I'm, but I'm here now um, doing my voiceover, and I said voiceover so many times. I really should write a script for these, but I really. Uh, think that I wouldn't do that well reading from a script I think that's that's not me I'm a terrible person I, I'm one of those people who sucks at reading out loud I, I really do but I'm a really good reader I really love to read <laughs> go figure I just I can't I'm not very artic articulate I'm not very good at like words I'm not very good I like at saying things I get a little bit embarrassed because sometimes people call me out on it and um yeah I don't know um uh yeah that that's so yeah uh, that's why I don't do it I just f feel like that if I did that it, uh write a wrote a script it would feel very forced and I kind of just wanted this to be like casual kind of chat and yeah um I thought in this video I'd talk about Inktober and why I didn't finish it and um why you probably won't see the videos for it um so the videos were done on my um camera no my yeah my camera phone my phone's camera um i was just like, trying to get the words the right, right way around um and the video footage was really crappy my setup was really crappy um i'm hoping that in the next year or so I will have an SLR camera, a new one. I have a, a regular SLR camera but it doesn't it doesn't have the video compatibility. So that's my goal for next year is to start saving and get myself a new SLR. because um, I really love photography and my camera is uh, I think about eight years old now and she's slowly she's 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 ready to go out to greener pastures. I sound like I'm talking about a cow, but um yeah. I'm hoping to also have a space set up. Um, those are my goals for next year. I have other goals for next year, but I might talk about that towards the end of the year in another video. Um, but yeah, um, um, Inktober was a disaster for me. I went in it. I went into it with uh, ideas, and I was guns. I went in guns blazing, and I was really happy with the, the, the beginning. And then I. Uh, I started running into problems. I, I ran into problems from day one. I had really crappy paper. I had um, I was spending too much time on each piece. Um, I was in a bit of pain. I've been having a few issues with my right hand, um, and it doesn't help. And my little nephew's been making me play this game on his iPad, which has been. It, it, that actually makes the issue a lot worse and I've been trying to tell him but uh, toddlers um, so I decided to call it quits pretty early on in Inktober just because I didn't really want to risk doing too much damage to my hand and I just was feeling burnt out creatively um, I was also putting way too much pressure on myself I had intended to do a piece daily and then at the end of it I would um, and, um, and so I did it on really nice paper and um, I just I wasn't in the end I wasn't happy I was putting way too much pressure on myself and I normally with Inktober I normally just do it in my sketchbook so if it's crap it's fine like I don't have to care like I don't have to worry about it the idea is down and I it's an idea that I can always go back and revisit later and refine and you know that kind of thing but um yeah I was myself and I was feeling really in the process so in the end I decided that the best thing I could do was just call it quits and work on other things which is what I've been doing I also needed to take a break because of the physical strain of it the mental strain I was um, I haven't really been feeling the best as of late in terms of like who like and I don't want to get into too much details about it but I just I just haven't been feeling the best and so I just needed some time to reflect and 
you know, hopefully feel a bit better, I guess. I don't know. I'll see what happens. Um, but art, creating art definitely helps. Like, it helps me. Um, I can, you know, get all my frustrations out. So with whatever I'm creating, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Um, I just, as long as I'm enjoying the process. So, um, yeah, I um, decided that instead of doing Inktober, I wanted to do a piece, um, a, a spooky Halloween-y themed piece for the month of October because October is one of my favourite months um, because I really enjoy Halloween. Even though I live in Australia, it's not, we don't really celebrate it too much, but I did go to a costume party and um, I actually was supposed to go to two and I went to a second one, but um, my nephew freaked out. So me and him went home and ended up watching Star Wars. So. That was okay, um, but I've been really busy as well, so I really haven't had, um, yeah, so I really enjoy October, this, this was like my second Halloween party, um, and I'm, I'm glad I kind of took a break from this, I don't think I would have had the time to finish it um, before the end of October, um, so yeah, and, and I'm sorry if I'm rambling, it is pretty early in the morning, it's like 1.30 in the morning and I'm getting tired, um, but uh, yeah. I decided I wanted to do a Halloween themed piece, so, um, and I decided that I wanted to work on my characters. Um, which was another thing I really, my, my intentions for Inktober was to go in to Inktober and try to ex try to explore a more simple style, try to simplify my art in a way that I could, um, so I could whip it out a lot faster, so I could eventually work on my comic, um, which is kind of just this idea at the moment, there's nothing else, I, I don't really have... A, a fleshed out story at the moment my characters aren't fully fleshed out and I want to fully flesh them out before I even attempt to do a comic so um, I decided that my goals were not being achieved and that Inktober was probably a, uh, probably wasn't working for me this year but it's definitely something that I definitely want to go into again next year and complete this is the first year I haven't completed it in the two years that I've done it so um, the three years that I've done it so um, I was a little bit disappointed and I felt a little crap about myself but you know sometimes it's all you know you need to focus on you as a person rather than your projects so I mean it's all for the best in the end but like I said, I really wanted to do a cute Halloween theme piece because I love Halloween. I just watch lots of horror movies, except I didn't really watch horror movies. I watched Beetlejuice and the end of The Adam's Family this year. But they're both great movies and they're both kind of spooky. Beetlejuice is one of my favourites. Um, but yeah, um, I decided to draw my characters Astrid and Misty. And I wanted to attempt to sell shade, so I wanted to I wanted to take my time with this piece, just because my hand was playing up, and um, I wanted to attempt to sell shade, which I knew was going to be a bit of a challenge for me because I've never done it before. Um, so yeah, I went I started with the line art, and I didn't use my pen to draw the line art. Um, I cheated a little bit, and I used Vector Layers in Clip Studio Paint, which I think I might talk about in another video, and maybe give you guys some ideas on um, hints and tips on how to do it if you are also struggling with hand issues I guess I don't know um, and uh, basically I used the draw direct tools and the tools that I used in that were like the continuous curve line and the straight line and the circle line or the oval line um, which you can make a circular if you know how to do it properly um, it is a little bit of fiddling around the circle one and then um, because they're on vector lines I was able to go through and edit them pretty easily through the vector using the vector tools and then I just played around with the width of the lines um, ever, ever so slightly and I mostly did that in where in points where the lines met up just so there was some variation um, and I, th I like how it turned out I mean it's not amazing line art but it's definitely um, a lot better than when I sit there and I draw it out with my pen tool and then use the ed The part that I enjoyed the most of this piece was just um, coloring it in, coloring in the flat colors. 
um, I just really enjoyed that whole, like, it was just therapeutic to lay some lines down and just not think about how neat they're going to, how neat the colour is going to look underneath, although, um, it looked pretty atrocious, um, and, yeah, I really just enjoyed that part the most, um, so, um, I s did say I attempted to soul shade, and you'll see that this is why that that's why the video is so long. And I have a couple of videos on YouTube on how to do it, and I watched it a lot. I watched them a while ago before I even attempted this piece. And so by the time I attempted this piece, I forgot how to do it, um, and then I had to go rewatch those videos. Which um, I kept the flats because. Um, a, I wasn't really happy with her colour, um, it, it changed to twice, um, her original hair colour was teal in my first drawing and I realised that I do that quite a lot and I wanted to play around with different colours because I, I, teal is a colour that I fall back on the most, it's like a, not, it's not even a teal, it's like that blue green type thing, I really love that, but I decided to do something a little bit more extreme, I thought the mint green, um, a mint green would look nice with her eyes and the, the brown of her skin. Um, I really love her skin color and her eye color um, but um, when I my, my computer screen doesn't have the best um, in uh, color accuracy so it's a little bit faded um, which doesn't bother me too much it just means that my colors are gonna be more vibrant when I um, view them on another screen which is what happened I viewed it on another screen I didn't like the the green it looked really neon but I actually really like the green now I regret not keeping it so I in my cell shading one I've kept the green the way it was and I'm just just having fun with it um, and here I am in Photoshop attempting to try and cell shade in that and um, failed um, <laughs> But I'm taking my time with cell shading at the moment because it is a new process and I've never really done it. I've never done it before actually. So it has been a bit of a challenge and it, it's been a fun challenge but it's also been a frustrating challenge just because it's something that has taken me so long. Um, so in the end for this piece I decided to, um, I, I put it in Clip Studio Paint to see if I could make it easier. I'm having a few issues with Photoshop, I, I might have to look up on how to fix it but um, it's not reading my pen's pressure sensitivity so like when I lay down, when I start to lay down colour and stuff it's really thick um, but it's not like that in Clip Studio Paint, I get that variety. Sometimes my drivers will play up and have to reboot my computer. Um, and that's a bit of a pain in the butt, but, um, yeah, it's just really odd that it's, it, I can fix the problem with Eclipse Studio Paint with a simple reboot, but I can't do that in Photoshop, so I might actually have to go and look at how to fix that. Um, so my, I went back to my regular way of colouring, and I think this is something that I might stick with and I might play around with a bit more in terms of, um, limiting the colors that I used to do shadow and light um, just because it's a lot quicker and a lot easier um, and you can get it, it, the, the picture ended up being a bit more atmospheric than I am used to which I really like I really enjoyed how this piece turned out I really love the purple shadow and um, the orange highlights and the, the green highlights and yeah, it was a really fun piece to work on. I mean, um, there are definitely things that I don't like about it. The hair, the hair sucks so bad. Um, I, I really suck at hair and I definitely think it's something I need to work on. Um, apart from that, I think everything else is pretty good. Like I'm really happy with the way I do faces. My anatomy isn't amazing. Um, it's definitely something that I am getting better with every day and I definitely need to get into the habit of using references more. Um, but yeah, I am really overall really happy and I definitely want to explore um, using my um, transparent, maybe even some other tools, um, but my favourite tool to use to colour is the transparent watercolour and um, I think when I talk about that I might do like my favourite tools in Clip Studio Paint kind of video and what they do. So yeah, I definitely think that I want to do a video on vectors as well, vector layers, just because I rely on them a lot too, um, in terms of filling in colours, creating those smooth, 
uh, lines and yeah um I will see what happens I have goals I have goals for videos and um, things that I want to do for this channel um, in the next year or so and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes but apart from that I had a really great October despite feeling a bit meh and a bit down on myself um, I went to a uh, Halloween party, I went and saw the My Little Pony movie, I went to Comic Con, not Supernova, I went to Comic Con, that was really fun, um, I, what else, yeah, I met Jess, Jason Momoa, that was, that was amazing, and uh, Nicola Scott, um, I didn't know what to say to her, so I didn't say anything, so, um, I, I just admire the hell out of her. And um, yeah, October has been a really good month despite me feeling like poo. Um, I can't wait to see how the rest of the year pans out. I'm really looking forward to going away. Um, as I've mentioned before, I don't know if I mentioned in this video, I am going away in at the end of this week when this video uploads. I'll be going away on the Saturday, I'll be flying to Perth. I'll be away for two weeks, so there will be no videos until maybe December. Um, I know I've been a bit slack with uploading and making content, and that's just because of all the stuff that I've been going through um, with my hand and, and other things like that, and trying to do Inktober but failing at it. So, um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say apart from I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to like it. If you want to watch, um, stay up to date with videos, not watch. If you want to watch, um, please subscribe and hit that little notification bell. So when I do start uploading again, you will be the first to know. Um, also, what else can I say? If you want to follow me on any kind of social media, that'll all be down in the description below. Um, also, um, I, what was I going to say, uh, I do take commissions, yes, I plug the crap out of my commissions, um, I also, um, so if you want to contact me about a commission or anything, please feel free to hit me up via any of the social medias down below, and I also have a Red, no, Society6 store, and you can check that out too, although I haven't updated it and I'm thinking about going to Redbubble. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all hopefully very, very soon. Bye.